Hey guys, hope you're having a great weekend. This is our weekly watch list video hiding the five stocks we are watching this week. First one being Coin, second one being Baba, third one being Nvidia, fourth one being Square, and then the last one being Meta. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Thank you. So getting things started, the first thing I'm going to be doing is going to be using SPY as an index to break down the market. What have we seen within the past week in the market? And then what can we expect to see within the coming week? So really what we saw up here is going to be this consolidation base here, basically from this 413 region all the way down here into this 408 area. A week and a half of consolidation, we get this break down here and then we get this move lower off of a higher PCE index coming out here on Friday. And we test into this key level down here into this 393.70 area and find some nice buying pressure here. You can see volume, we're trading the highest volume we've seen since back here on this move lower on 12.16. So some significant buying pressure that you guys should note here in this area. Now, the last thing that I want to see is just a bearish engulfing candle down here that completely engulfs and moves down lower and cracks these buyers. If we do get that, I do think we can see a rapid selling here and movement to the downside. For an upside move, I want to see a reclaim of 398 for this move up here. And really, where did this 396.70 area come from? Let's look at this from the four hour chart here. So what do we get? We get a rapid movement off of here, off of this test, and then let's come back here. You get a nice movement here, nice movement here, acts as a rejection, and then we reclaim here. So a very strong level here into this area. You can see how we tested it here also on these two days back here, and then we get a massive advancement here to the upside. So strong buying pressure remains down here in this 393.70 area, going to be an, eye to, an area to keep on watch here. As for longs, watching this long movement above 398 for this upside potential here, potential above that into this 402, 404, and 408 region above. One thing I wanted to note here is on forward slash ES, which is going to be the S&P 500 futures. Let's go here to the daily chart. You get this bear flag, two inside bars here, and a failed breakdown attempt so far on higher volume. So if you had this bear flag breakdown, what you'd wanna see is this, these inside bars, and then strong close on this bearish candle for a continuation move. We got this wick lower here on higher volume, even compared to these three last candles here. So clearly some buying pressure on ES here from 39.45 up into that 39.75 region here. So something to note, and keep on watch here, uh, some nice strength here on the market on Friday after that morning gap down from that high inflation print. The first play of the week is a potential bearish setup here, and it's going to be on Coinbase. And we're obviously sideways here in this consolidation. We haven't seen much of a movement since this earnings gap down here. And what I'm seeing here is this gap down and then this fail. And then we had a rally attempt fail here on 2 of 22. And then we're testing down lower here into this area. I want to see this crack of this 55 area for this move down into the 50 region. And what I'm seeing here is from this weekly chart here, you get this nice move up here in these three inside bars here, failed to push higher here, failed to push higher here. Now watching the crack of low to trigger those stops below this 55 area for that funnel selling into that 50 region below here. So keeping this on watch, if we do get a hold below that 55 area, liking this move to the downside here into that 50 area on a continuation sell off. The second play is also a very weak move that I think we can test down here into this 85 area to draw some of these orders in here. You can see just how important of an uh, this 85 area is, and it's going to be a natural magnet to draw liquidity on this particular name. We get a nice earnings gap up here, and then what happens? Let's go into the five day, five minute. We get an earnings gap up, followed by a mass amount of selling, profit taking off of earnings, and completely engulfing all progress we had from that earnings move and pushing this lower here. We get another gap down with the market and a continuation sell off here. So eyeing this one short with a potential into this 85 area. Once we test into 85, that would be a potential to watch for a bounce move. But until then, very, very weak here. Want to ideally see below this candle low for a continuation sell-off into that 85 area below. 
The third play, a strong earnings move, and really what propelled the market and the NASDAQ, especially here on Thursday, was this gap up move on NVIDIA. Now what happens is we test this key 230 region on this pullback, and let's go into the five day, five minute. You can see we are hovering around right in here, right into this 230 area here, and buyers and sellers were really intertwined here. You can see we got an attempt move lower, followed by an attempt up, lower attempt up, and then finally just consolidating the whole day as the market did as well. I want to see that 230 area hold on this retest. So if we go back out to this daily region here, want to see that 230 hold for the retest for a test up into this 240 plus area here on that daily chart for an earnings follow through after that pullback. Now the fourth play is another earnings move. And one thing to note is, so if we zoom in here and we go to let's say the five day, five minute, we got a very strong move up push lower here and then a rally even on a weaker market on SPY. So holding the 75 area, 74, 79, nice buying pressure here off these lows. Go into the daily chart here. Really what I like to see is this high volume as expected with earnings, but that buying pressure that moved this all the way down here from 73.60 into a close at 77, what was it, 77.36. So a pretty significant bounce here off the lows on high volume, indicating the buyers are strongly present here. The last thing that you want to see on this is if sellers just completely negate this progress that we had here on Friday and crack below those lows. But I do think on a uh, continuation move, we test back up into this 82, 83 area above here, utilizing the lows of this as an area for the trade thesis to be wrong. The fifth play, and one that's been on our watch list twice now. We were eyeing, we mentioned the eye of this 200 reject, and then we also mentioned it over here on last week's watch list so we could test into 168.80. What are we doing? We're testing that 168.80 gap area here. I want to see a continuation sell off below this 168.80 area for potential down here into this region back here at 161.76. Contrary to that, there is a potential long setup after filling this gap if we can clear above this consolidation here. So you can see we've had basically one, two, three, four, five, six days of inside action here. Lower volume, again, not the 2x volume I would like to see, but we're getting a lot of consolidation here leading for a bigger move. So any bullish strength above 168.80 going to eye that upside into 180. And if we do crack below this on weakness, I'm to take this lower into that 160 area here. With that being said, that wraps up our weekly watch list. If you did enjoy this video, if you could please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. If you are interested in checking out our team to get course alerts and more, feel free to check out simplified-investing.com. We would love to have you guys on board. Hope you guys all have a great week and look forward to trading with you all on Monday. Thank you.